coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Joby completes record 523 mile test flight. Agricola purchases all electric aerial application aircraft. Beta's Aaliyah transports cargo to Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Joby completes record 523 mile test flight. Joby Aviation managed to pull off a 523 mile flight using their hybrid electric hydrogen VTOL aircraft, once again putting them near the front of the sustainable pack in terms of real world accomplishment. Their demonstrator finished off a 523 mile flight, putting out nothing but water as the byproduct of its hybrid power plant. That's pretty good for a draggy VTOL aircraft, though unsurprisingly achieved by using a liquid hydrogen fuel source. While many in the industry have had similar success with Liquid H2, the fuel remains a tough nut to crack on the production and transportation side, being much more finicky to contain and retain in liquid form. Gaseous hydrogen has been the easier version to deal with for a while, but its lackluster energy density means it's probably better suited to smaller UAVs and outlying off-grid production systems than full-size crewed aircraft like Joby's. After finishing off their lengthy test flight, Joby found they still had 10% of their hydrogen fuel remaining. And after the break, UAS for STEM at EAA AirVenture 2024. Flying is my entire life. It's all that I've ever known. I've relied on Hartzell propellers since about 1995. Hartzell means much more than a propeller. It's a relationship. When you hear the phrase, built on honor, they care about us as pilots, they care about our community, and they care about the product they build. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. UAS4 STEM at EAA AirVenture 2024. UAS4 STEM is an Academy of Model Aeronautics sanctioned competition for students aged 11 through graduating high school seniors. Teams compete throughout the year to make it to the championship at AirVenture. Teams must design, build, and fly unmanned aerial systems to compete virtually and be selected for the championship which is in two classes, beginner and advanced, based on skill level and age. First, second, and third place teams receive scholarship money and Skydio equipment from AMA. FAA approves waiver for SUAS systems at Michigan test site. UAVionics and Unmanned Vehicle Technologies announced jointly that the FAA has granted UVT a waiver to operate its SUAS beyond visual line of sight at its Michigan test site. The waiver permits BV loss operations without the need for visual observers, made possible through the integration of the UAVionics Cassia G ground based detect and avoid system, which provides comprehensive airspace awareness to ensure safe drone operation beyond the PIC's visual range. The testing allowed by the waiver will significantly advance operational capabilities for UVT. First, J-1 Pulse Jet delivered to customers. The first set of J-1 engine systems from Wave Engine Corporation has been delivered to an unspecified government contractor, expected to be seen in use on some UAV platforms yet to reach the public eye. What's old is new again, as the very familiar J-1 brings renewed dignity to an engine type that was once thought obsolescent in the old World War II V-1 flying bombs. Today, of course, North American Wave Engine Corporation has been keen to label their offerings as Wave Engines to help distinguish them from years of tut-tutting about the supposed inefficiency of the old Pulse Jet design. 
American Airlines inks conditional deal for Zero Avia hydrogen engines. American Airlines signed off on a conditional purchase agreement with Zero Avia that could provide them with 100 hydrogen electric hybrid power plants. The deal was accompanied with a renewed investment into Zero Avia by the carrier as they tossed some money into the company's Series C financing round. This recent deal falls under the original Memorandum of Understanding signed between the two back in 2022. Now that Zero Avia's development process is bearing more tangible fruit, the carrier feels more confident in committing money to their ZA2000 engine. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Agricola purchases all-electric aerial application aircraft. SLC Agricola is one of the largest agricultural producers in Brazil, working 1.7 million acres of farmland and is a leading innovator of farming practices. SLC has signed a commercial agreement with Oakland, California-based Pica Inc. for the purchase of its fully autonomous and all-electric aerial application platform, the Pelican Spray Aircraft. With this agreement, PICA represents a significant customer addition and boosts its entry into one of the largest agricultural markets in the world. It also positions PICA to expand its efforts into major row crops such as soybeans, corn, and cotton. For SLC, the aircraft will be tested as it integrates into its fleet with the intention of enhancing operational efficiency, reducing the use of chemicals, and cutting carbon emissions to progress towards its goals for business and sustainability. Rene Aysana, SLC Agricola's digital agricultural manager, said, quote, We are delighted to work with PICA and are excited to access the capabilities of Pelican Spray. We have searched the market for an autonomous solution for aerial application that satisfies the requirements of our operation, and PICA's product is an ideal platform, end quote. After these messages, Beta's Aliyah transports cargo to Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Welcome back. Beta's Aaliyah transports cargo to Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. The conventional takeoff and landing all electric battery powered fixed wing Aaliyah aircraft, produced by Beta Technologies of Burlington, Vermont, successfully conducted a flight test carrying cargo from Dover Air Force Base to Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst after departing from the National Aerospace Research and Technology Park in Atlantic City. The U.S. Air Force has been in a partnership with Beta to develop Aaliyah, which has a range of 250 nautical miles and seats up to five passengers. The Air Force's interest is in deploying it for cargo transport between Dover AFB and JBMDL because it saves time, money, and human and other resources. The flight test was conducted by the 305th Maintenance Squadron's Precision Measurement Equipment Laboratory team, who unloaded 319 pounds of cargo from Dover and loaded 222 pounds for the return trip. Alexandra Scalone, 305th Maintenance Squadron Production Controller, said, quote, it brings key innovation to the mission. It's going to make things faster and simpler. Dover is about two and a half hours away from us, and today's flight only took 45 minutes." End quote. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.